<laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the spoiler cast, the show we no the TV no. cast, the show we talk about uh, streaming shows, TV shows. We don't care about spoiling them. This is the spin-off to the spoiler cast, though, which is on sort of a hiatus at the moment. Yes. Uh, we have our, our summer break, but we'll be back. And in the meantime, of course, we have the TV cast. Yes. Um, so, yeah, great, great way to take a take a vacation <laughs> by just <laughs> continue you doing your other podcasts. Either way, I mean, it's fun, so who cares? Yes. Um, and and the, this is way more sporadic and, and less... Uh, structured in general even though we have weekly episodes we have weekly episodes because we now have found a show we like so yeah but we um, still, you know and if you like this podcast like. you can support it on patreon.com slash don't make a scene and yes. get exclusive episodes our infamous uh pilot of this show where we talked <laughs> about the first episode of she hulk remember that show Ugh. remember that great show that yeah. cultural milestone that went nowhere yeah yeah that's why we didn't continue watching it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but in this uh, season, I suppose, of yeah. the TV cast, we are talking about uh, the House of the Dragon, or House of the Dragon, which yes. still should season be two. House of Dragons, but whatever. Season two, yes. And this is Could episode be Dance two. of Dragons, to be honest, <laughs> for all I care. But that's, that's a specific moment in... Tar- uh, that's true, that's true. We mentioned it's, that. It's about the House of Dragons. It's about yeah, the Targaryens. Anyway, yeah, so we're talking about episode two, which came out just the other day. Uh, Rhaenyra the Cruel. Yes, which Maybe follows up it. Um, the end of the first episode where um, Damon hired an old gold cloak and a rat catcher to kill Aemond Targaryen, right? Yes. Yeah, Damon, Aemond, Aegon, Aegar, Aegar, Aegon, all the names. No, Aegon! <laughs> King. No, wait, she didn't want no. the king. She wanted the brother. The brother, Aemon. Right. Yeah. Aemon, yes. Yeah. Sorry. They didn't find him, so they were like, all right, whatever, let's just kill another kid instead. So they killed little Jaehaerys. Um, baby prince. The baby was, prince. Uh, king to be. Yeah. When, his, uh, when King Aegon II would be done, I guess, or pass away. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's that's how succession works. That's how sure. that's how it works with kings. Well, not really in this this world. I mean, they always fuck it up. So no, that's literally how it works. You're yeah, but it never happens that way. No, really. that's oh my I mean. god. Yeah, and we're Either off way. the rails already. <laughs> yes, we pick up right after actually, because I think we see like a handmaiden walk out with the bloody cloth from the bed. Yeah, as like the first scene. Yeah, and, and it's scene, it's certainly. it's all about the aftermath of that, um, which yeah. is kind of funny because the first episode was really the aftermath of Aemon killing Luke. Luke, Luke, right? Lucerys, I think is his name. Lucerys, yeah, exactly. Uh, Rhaenyra's uh, youngest, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, which was supposed to start the war, which was the end of the last season. And we still haven't started the war yet. They're kind of apprehensive because, you know, yes. you ultimately you do want to avoid war. Yeah. Um, it's not good for anyone. I mean, it's an it's, it's a necessary evil. And it's, sure, but it should it's, be, you know, it's expensive and a lot of people die. And like, Yeah, it should be your very last um, uh, resort. Resort, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, instead, Damon, well, I guess in a, in a way to kind of please Renera. But also just, um, I guess, Mark, like, to, to show his power, decide to take, yeah, take take the liberty of issuing a hit on Aemon. Yeah. I well, mean, she does say, does say I want, I his, want son. his head. Or his head, yeah, <laughs> or her, her son, yeah. Um, which, which, which is kind of weird, because in this episode, she, like, she was like, I didn't, I didn't want him to die. She's like, hey, you said it, though. Yeah, well, like, like they all well, all say. I don't remember who it's, says it's, it. It's but, women. Um, like, oh, I say one thing, but I mean another. Of course, no, 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 like, no. no. <laughs> but one of the one of the her people, I don't remember which one it was, uh, mentions at the table, like, ah, oh, maybe it was something done in haste, in a moment of like anger or something. And yes, what she said was done in haste and in a moment of anger. But I don't think she expected anyone to actually follow up on it. Why not, though? She is in their eyes. 
the king, I guess queen of of uh, of uh, the rightful ruler. Yeah, whatever this world is called. Westeros. Westeros, right? Yeah, or the country, I suppose. Sure, and even if she did want um, Prince Aemon's head, she never wanted the children. The, like, toddler's head. <laughs> no, sure, but she doesn't even acknowledge that she did say, I want his head. No, I think she's a bit of a, in a bit of a shock there. Yeah. Like, yeah you killed a child. Why? <laughs> yeah. And then... I... Because we... I think the episode meanders a bit. I mean, it, it focuses bit, yes. all on that. The, 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 the fallout from this. Um, uh, what's his name? Um... The White Cloak, uh, uh, Tris- Kristen Cole. Cole. Kristen Cole feeling like he failed the the woman he, I think he loves her. It's not just Oh, yeah, corny. he loves Alicent. Yeah. yeah. Alicent, yeah. Um, we see the, the king at first acting very, like, like, like every fucking king does in this show. Yeah. Like, so, oh, like, it's always the wrong people who become king. Oh, yes. It's always the ones who doesn't want to, and then when they do, they completely abuse the power. They become power, like, insane with power. Yeah. Um, megalomaniacal, as it's called. And he's like, oh, how could they do this? What, what does he say? Is thieves and invaders or something. He's villains. Screaming. They call them villains. Yeah, villains, yeah. <laughs> thieves Which and I villains. Was perfect, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> Very theatrical as he's smashing yes. his big, uh, the big uh, model. We're going to catch these villains. I uh, want them hanged. Yeah. Also very symbolic. Villains. Very symbolic to show that he is nothing like his granddad or... His father. His... Oh, right. His father. Sorry. Damn. It's so messed up. Yeah. Yeah. His father, Viserys, who was carefully building, you know, the, the, the <laughs> King's Landing model over his entire life. And now in a fit of rage, he just smashes it over... Not nothing, but, you know... Um, yeah. Like, I understand being angry, and I understand that reaction, even though we haven't seen that really from him before. Like, we, we've only seen him interact with his son, like, once. And it was in the first episode when he calls him in to be in, in one of those meetings with his mm. little table people. Yeah. I don't remember what they call it. The, the, yeah, the, whatever. Yeah, with the little balls and shit. Um... But he's only there for like five minutes and he, throughout the entirety of those five minutes, he's like, oh yeah, my son should have a piggyback ride on, on my like yeah, he's just person who's in charge of the treasury. <laughs> as a show of power, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like he's actually... No, and that's what he says. At first, he he's, he's angry because, well, you know, if they kill my son this easily, they could just kill me as easily. But he also yeah. is angry that his legacy is now ruined. Yeah. Um, it's not It's not specifically about his son. Um, which is perfect. But going back to the the symbolism with the model, um, sh- shows just that he, like I said, he's nothing like his dad. He is he is an uh, uh, uh and that's something that Otto talks about. Uh, the hand, Otto Hightower, his his yeah. granddad, um, like very very impulsive and not not. Like not playing the long, doing the long think or something. It says, yeah, yeah. Um, not know. very strategic in general. Yeah, uh, we do, however, see him later on by himself, crying probably over his son, which is yes. like oh, a humanizing moment, which I thought it was nice. Um, even though, even though I don't like the character, it, 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 he he's he. So far, he hasn't been evil. No. Um, he's just been a bit of a bastard. Not yeah, and he hasn't but, really you know, he hasn't really had time to show us that he has any other attributes than being just this firstborn. I mean, born who... I mean, although he did kind of, you know, he knocked up that maid, right? So that's pretty. But that's when he was a teenager. <laughs> yeah, then it's okay to rape, I suppose. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. He's he's not he's yeah. not Joffrey levels of evil. Not really, but he's you can set, tell that it runs in the family. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Although they're Wait, not, they're it, not the same. Are, they're family, not related, you know, are they're they? Not, they're not. But it does. It does. I, I mean, guess I it, runs it runs through the Iron Throne. Then. No, I was going to say it runs in Targaryen family though, because he is not the Mad King, right? Because that that's some that's some Ooh. that's some uh, 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 later on. Because it's the Mad King that uh, that they kill in um, well, not in in Game of Thrones, but you know. Whatever the the, yeah. the the Danish guy is called, the good-looking guy who fucks his sister, he kills. Ares the, the second is commonly called the Mad King. 
Okay, is that who, who was killed by whatever his name is? Um. God. Maybe there's several Mad Kings. I don't know. Oh, he's the Nerys. Father. Father, yeah. yeah. That's a Mad King. Yeah, exactly. Um. But anyway, yeah. So obviously that, yeah, and, and I mean, generations of inbreeding would do that. I mean, it's 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 amazing. Sure, it's not one line. They still like cousins and stuff like that, but they're still inbreeding. So they they you know yeah they're prone to abnormalities. Um, but yeah. <laughs> then oh yeah, Jamie is the one. Who Jamie, the thank you, Jamie yeah. Lannister. I was like, yeah, I was like Prince Eric, something the dashing rogue. But prince. then Robert Baratheon sits on the throne, even though Jamie killed the king. Well, yeah, because he was the he was the like he was only chose to take over. Yeah, there's a why whole would, discussion about would... that in the in the Game of Thrones la later seasons. If but I remember correctly. The Baratheon shouldn't have been king? Yeah. It's like technically Jamie killed the king, so he should have sat on the throne, but oh, he but didn't he, really he want didn't, to. He didn't want to, yeah. And then he like kinda went. They had chose Baratheon, everyone, because they thought he was be to be the best leader. Did they? I don't remember that part. Either way. Yeah. That doesn't matter, yeah. No. Um but then, yeah, then the episode doesn't. It, that I mean, that's really what it's all about. It's it's about it's about first figuring out who did this. Um, they kill the Which rat we catcher. We know, <laughs> yeah, we know. They kill the rat catcher and the gold cloak. Well, we don't see them kill the gold cloak, but obviously they kill well, the gold cloak. Yeah. Um. Uh. And then and then eventually, Renera, after getting the <laughs> the nickname Renera the Cruel, she finds out that Damon gave the order, and they have a little falling out. And, and he leaves. Yeah, and <laughs> Kristen decides to, and in another very rash move, send another assassin. So, oh, we're just, they're just going to start assassinating each other back and forth. And he sends one of the twins, Sir Eric or something? Uh, no, him, Eric is the one who is with Rhaenerys, Rhaenyra. Oh, but he, um, he calls I don't the remember what thing. the other one is called. Whatever. Yeah, sends him to kill Rhaenyra, which is like, that. now that's an act of war. If you like, yes. it's one thing to kill the king's son. I mean, it's still very, very bad and could start a war. But to kill the other queen, oh, right. so to speak. It's Eric and Eric with an A oh, Jesus, and an okay. E. <laughs> That's the, the names in this ever. show. Yeah, god damn. <laughs> um, it shouldn't be Johnny and Donny. That's easier. It's, yeah, that would have made Eric more sense. And Eric and Eric. Oh, but one has an A. Oh, thank you. Anyway. How do you pronounce that though? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the show, the episode ends with them, uh, well, one of the Eric's uh, uh, finding Rhaenyra, and then the other Eric comes back because he, he felt like something's off, you know. Yeah. Because uh, he just shows up out of nowhere, because you see him earlier, like, huh? Huh? He felt a disturbance in the force. Basically. Yeah, they fight. Um, <laughs> Spoilers, they both die. <laughs> they both die, and I'm, I, I was trying to keep uh, track of it. Track of who was who. And I got the feeling like Rhaenyra's Eric mm -hmm. was killed first. And then the uh, uh, Alicent's Eric, or I guess Kristen Cole's Eric, still felt like, oh, what have I done? And and committed suicide. And he apologized to Rhaenyra as yeah. he did it. Yeah. I, I lost track after, because when. When um, Sir whatever, when her maid runs and gets the other dude. Yeah, who was supposed to stand guard, but he was yeah. relieved. And he by comes in and Eric. he asks, who's Eric? And I'm yeah. like, I don't know, both of them. Yeah, but then, <laughs> he, then, he, he, but then he, he grabs he, he, at the wound in the leg. And I know that was the... Yeah, that was Rhaenyra's Eric. Eric. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who had, no, who had the wound. Yeah. Yeah. So the good Eric, Rhaenyra's Eric, is choking his brother... Because the one with the slashed leg is her Eric. Yeah. Good Yeah. Good Eric. The good Eric. We've, yeah, we'll we, call him we, good. Yeah, he's good Eric. For, we're team we like Targaryen. We're, we're team, team Rhaenyra. Yeah. Um, but and after that, when they kind of break apart, I lost track completely. Oh, at I, who's I, might, and I couldn't not, really see the wound anymore. No, I might be wrong, but I got the feeling that bad Eric kills the good Eric. And then, because, I mean, it's still his brother. And, I mean, he did, yeah. he did, he was in the service of... 
Rhaenyra first. Yes. And I'm sure he chose he chose Alicent, but because of because him basically being sent to certain death, maybe had a, like a last minute change of heart. So instead of killing her, he commits suicide. <clears throat> Yeah, and he also probably wouldn't have made it at that point because we had the other one, Lord Simon or whatever the fuck his yeah. name is. And he was wounded. And like, even if he got away with it, he would have been killed. Yeah. Even if he managed, I mean, if he, if he managed to kill Renera, he would have been killed. Yeah. So it was just like, whatever. <laughs> um, And then, of course, we have, I can't remember her name, Sonoya Mizuno. The actress. Miseria. Miseria. The white worm. Right. Um, who is... Uh, uh, I still don't remember why she was imprisoned. She was sent away in the end of last season? She... Oh, I don't remember her entire story, but she's the one that was supposed to marry Damon. Yeah. Well, she did. No, they never actually married, no. did they? But he married um, he married Renera, and then, yeah, she, she... Then she became this, like, little finger character... Kind of, uh, yeah. But then she in the in the in the last episode she was a stowaway on a ship, and when they found her, they yes. put in a, put her in prison. Because the high towers um, changed their mind about her after she helped uh, 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 Otto High Tower, and right. he burnt down her house. Oh right, right. So she fled. So she was, and she school. ended up in in uh, in uh, Dragonstone, where they imprisoned her because hey. They You're the bitch who helped them. Ah, right, right, right. But and she keeps saying that it was just an opportunity. Like she, she yeah. doesn't hold allegiance to anyone. But then as she, she is set free though by yes. Renera, and she's about to go, go, go back. But then she oh, reckon- well, she's supposed to go across the narrow sea, I think, to Mir. I thought they said. I don't, I don't remember. So she can start a new life, you know. Yeah, but then she spots Sir Eric. Sir Eric, who left, you know, her at the castle. She's like, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, we don't see her actually, like... Um, well, she tells her guard that's that's uh, accompanying her to the boat. Like, yeah. hold up. So maybe that's how Sir Eric, good Eric, found out? Most likely. So obviously now, that's setting up her as being an ally to Renera. It could have just been a, like, show of good faith as a thank you for letting her go. But she's never done that before. And that was, no, that was her no whole thing. No, never let her go before. No, but that was, that's what I'm getting at. That was her whole thing. She she always does what's only what's good for her. There was no reason for her to save Renera at that point. No, that's true. So I'm, I'm saying that that show that she because yeah she was shown, um, she was shown mercy by Renera, so kind of kindness. She now <laughs> might have a change of heart. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, sure. <sighs> and that's, that's she's definitely gonna be an an important character. I think. Yeah. Uh, that's really all that happens in the episode. We get a little bit of like seeing Queen Helena and her, because she's always been kind of quiet and weird. But now we mm. actually see like, oh, she does care. She's not too weird. She's you know, she loved her children, even though she pointed to the one that should die <laughs> in the last episode. Well, yeah, she has to pick one. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have mattered. Like. No, and the risk was that if she lied to them, they might have killed her too. Yeah, and the other one. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. why would she even have? I mean, <coughs> I, I get it's it's a thematic thing why she has to point it out, but they could just you know lift up the nightgown and see who's the yeah. boy and the girl. So I mean, the white cloak works in the castle around the the royal family. He should know who's who. He doesn't know that. He never sees the children. And he doesn't work as... White Cloak are the royal guard. He's not a white cloak. He was a gold cloak, and now he's a city guard. Oh, it was a gold cloak. Right. Gold cloaks were uh, were demons like Gestapo. They weren't the the, the palace guard or, or castle guard. But he... Okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um. Either way. Yeah. So that, that doesn't... She, she would have to point at someone... Yeah. Other they would just kill her and the babies, so might as well save yes, herself and one, one or baby. one or three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a lesser of two evils. Um yes. But what I'm trying to get at so yeah, now we've gone through the episode. We haven't really talked about it. what did you think of the episode? Did you think it was a good episode? I thought it was fine. It was a little bit slow, like you said in the beginning. Um Yeah. We're, st- we're still 
we're not catching up now. They're 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 no, building up new to stuff is happening. start new things, obviously. Yeah. Um, big... But it's still a few too many plot lines that like are working together towards the same goal when they could have had just maybe two. We don't need to have this whole the sea snake and the Valerian's own little quest on the side with the boats and yeah, I that don't know, random. I don't know what the, where there is where, where that is going. Yeah, the what's his name? Um, Alan of Hull, and and now apparently Adam of Hull, which yeah. is like his friend, son, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Them felt a little unnecessary. The entire thing with them. Yeah, they have. I not- mean, it's gonna make sense, obviously, towards the end. Yeah. Most likely, at least. But, that's, but it feels unnecessary right now. That's where it starts showing that it is a TV show. That you have to yeah. set all this up for when they eventually go to war. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, there are so much more economic ways of telling a story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're, we're leaning towards the issue with Game of Thrones, where we have too many different plot point, uh, plot lines running yeah. alongside each other, but still not... Fully intertwining correctly, barely. so it doesn't really add up. Barely, though, barely. leaning towards it. Game of Thrones We're got not there. No, Game of Thrones We're far from it. But Game of Thrones got bad really quickly when it came to that. The, like sixty. Oh yeah, like second season was just plot lines. destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because by the second season, we had like five different main plot lines. Yeah, and ten uh, like B plots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they were all spread out over like. Five different countries, it felt like. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they didn't even interact in it at all. Yeah. But I want to... I I was I didn't go back through our episodes, because I'm not going to listen to our own episodes. But no, I think we had a similar complaint um, about like the middle episodes of the first season as well, that it's not really going anywhere. Starts yes. off strong, which I think it does. Um, and then it's meandering in the middle, but then it, it finishes really strongly. So I'm wondering yeah. if this is more of the same, if it's going to be the same, like it's meandering and it, you know leads up to a good season finale. I mean, that's how you structure. Possibly. It. That's how you structure a show, though. That's how you get like, like you, you just fill time until you have a cool cliffhanger for the next season. So people go like, oh, because like you said, you only remember the end anyway. So you'll I got to watch yeah. season three now. Um, but yeah, it feels like... I still enjoyed the episode, yeah, oh yeah, like, it was, it was not a little bad. bit slow. It was not bad at all. It was good. <laughs> and once again, showcasing how much better looking this is than Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, just how it's shot and everything. God damn. But also, like, the small things, like having both Queen Alicent and uh, Prince Aemon, like, starting to question why they did what they did. Mm, both yeah. of them showing remorse and like, oh shit, what have I put my family through? Why is this really worth it? Yeah. Just because one child died. And imagine then what happens if they lose the war. Like... Yeah. How much will they need to lose before they realize that it's not worth it? Yeah. And maybe I'm just reading too much into it. But maybe Alison is like... uh, Questioning why she was like gunning so hard for the throne. Was Was it... I think so. Was it like... Not, not maybe that, oh, well, my children are ac- the actual heirs to the throne because they are the children of the, the king. Or was it just that, well, I'm I'm still mad at my childhood friend because she was mean to me once. And I think it's partially that. <laughs> but it's also, I don't know who says it in... Oh, no, it's Renera and Damon who has the conversation. But I think it, it, it applies to Alicent and Otto as well. They're using each other. Mm. Or the one is using the other to grasp at power that they when was like they were um, bereft of or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Damon wants the throne and he can't have it now, so the closest thing he can do is become queen consort mm. or prince, I guess, to Queen Renera. Yeah. Same with Otto, he will never be able to be king, but he can continue to rule through his family if they are still um sitting on the Iron Throne. Mm. Yeah. And he used Alicent to be able to get to that position or to stay in that position because Renera would never have kept him as his hand. King, the king queen's hand, I guess, then? Yeah. No. Even though he does lose it in this episode because he is being too careful. Mm. Or too conniving, I guess. 
King yeah. Aegon kind of caught up to it and went, yeah, you're either too soft or just dumb. I need someone who's an iron fist. And gives it to Kristen Cole. <laughs> Which is an it dumb idea. <laughs> yeah, he's just very like dumb. just like uh, just like Aegon, he's very impulsive. Yeah. As we saw when he beat a man to death for like a snide comment a few years ago. <laughs> As we saw in this episode when he sends a brother to kill his own brother to kill a queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Without consulting the king or anyone else. Yeah. So yeah. I'm 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 waiting for this to get really good. It's still good. Um, yeah. It's not. I mean, yeah. It it's 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 on the same level as as the middle of season one. But I I, yeah. I want to. I'm. I guess we'll get to the the more big stuff later. But I yeah. I'm I'm, I'm waiting for it to get like end of season one good. At like least. At least the the last like three episodes of season one was fucking amazing. Oh yeah. My God. One plus though is that they've kept showing dragons in every episode. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Even yes. if it's for short clips, they've kept them going. Yeah. It's not like they just oh we have dragons, but we're not gonna talk about them or show them this time because there's no point. To, no, no, you need to utilize the dragons. Yeah. You can definitely. Why else would you have them? You can definitely tell though that this is a show because this is this is not based on a specific book. It's based on like lore from the books. Yes. Um. So they have to make make it up, you know, themselves. And you can tell that they didn't fully have everything planned out. Because mm. remember in the end of season one when Damon, you know, sang to that giant dragon underground? Yeah. Because they were preparing for war. So they needed the big war dragon. Mm-hmm. Where did that go? Where's that I dragon? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Because it's not, it's not no, any of the dragons that anyone's riding. It's no. a random dragon that was still hiding in the mountains. Yeah. So why, why? I'm hoping they pick that one up though. I, yes, yes. That he's like still that that maybe that's where he was going now when he left Renera in in a fit of rage. Maybe he goes to that dragon to like co- coax it out and like let's let's do this. Let's burn King's Landing or something. Yeah, yeah. Something something like has to happen. I know we're only yeah, two episodes. It can't just in, be but assassinations it, and small things. It needs to be something a little bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, or at least, yes. Um, maybe not. They have. They maybe don't have to go to war directly, but there needs to be more than just this back and forth thing. A little bit happening. of a. We need some action, basically. I don't want to say that, but more, <laughs> more, um, more uh, consequential actions need to happen. Yeah. Um. Hold on. We need more reactions, I guess. Well, we get we're getting a lot of reactions. Yeah, but like <laughs> that, more I, than smashing a table. Yeah, I know what you mean. That something needs to happen. Yeah. Um, because the first season was eight episodes, right? I think so. Yeah, and this is also supposed to be eight episodes. Exactly. Well, no, there's twenty. Oh, season three might already. Yeah. They, they've announced season three, which is coming this I... year. It says it says twenty twenty four. I think in, uh, like t- towards winter. I'm assuming. Okay. Um, yeah. So I mean, unless the dates are wrong, obviously. We are we're one fourth through the eight, through the season already. So it needs to pick it up a little bit. Yeah. But the I, I know uh, otherwise because that was what's that was what was so good about the first season that um, while it might have felt a little meandering at eight hours, more than eight hours, this this episode was like feature length. It was it was over an hour and a, it was like an hour and a half. I honestly did not realize. I not mean not that it was too long, but I didn't notice of why. Like, should like how much more could there be? Like, this should be over already. And then I looked. And See, I watched an hour it. And I started an hour watching and 15 it. Fifteen minutes have gone by. I started watching it on my lunch break, which is only thirty minutes long. It says this is an hour and nine minutes. I'm pretty. Oh, maybe I. Maybe it was an hour and four. Or maybe you watched the trailer that's a bit before, and then you watched oh, the intro. Oh yeah, okay. So it's <laughs> yeah, it was a five minute recap. Okay, okay, okay. So it's an, but still an hour and nine yeah. minutes. That's pretty long. And and Max has thrown in that they show a, a trailer for one of their own stuff in before everything when you start an episode or a movie. Yeah, which I hate. Yeah, but like, I don't need to see a trailer for the penguin. I don't care. <laughs> Skip that. <laughs> Um, either way, yeah, uh, and I'm not saying it's too. It's still long, it's but long, like yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't pick up on it because I watched the first thirty minutes on my lunch break, and then I just kept watching as I started working again. Oh. I didn't notice that it that time even passed. I was like, oh, it's it's done already. Yeah. Like, 
Really? Maybe it was a bit of a, oh, nothing happened. How is this episode yeah. over? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that the episode is too long. I'm just saying that uh, the first season the first season felt very um, planned out. Like, they knew where they were going. They were going yes. from, you know, them being children to to the the dawn of war, basically. When the, yeah. when the two the two queens, well, the king and the queen, kind of they they, they go their separate ways, um, and the the fight for the Iron Throne starts again, or, yeah. or for the first time, I suppose. <laughs> um, I think it's it it was easier to to see the progression though because we had Viserys and his like decomposition. Yeah, that throughout too. Throughout the yeah. last half of it, and th- this so f- and and. Uh, more, more, more time passed. They could have more things happening in the first season. Yeah. Here, this season so far it takes, or yeah, so far it takes place over like what four days. Yeah, it's like day by day, basically. Yeah. So they need to step it up. Yeah. And in in every other way, though, still great. Like great performances, yes. great cinematography, great set design and costume design, all that. Great direction. I am loving the small, some of the small moments that are talking about or showing us other characters. Like we're seeing more of uh, Damon's daughters with the other, whatever Valerian the lady brother. was called, yeah. um, and them like reacting to all of this because they they feel kind of left out or they they feel like they are a bit left out. Yeah. But now as they're growing older, and I think one of them is at least technically betrothed to uh, Prince Jace. Mm. Renera's oldest. Like they're they're gonna be more involved now, I hope. Yeah. And they're also interesting characters because they have they have Damon as a father. Yeah. I imagine one of them might become a little bit more like him. But that's where we're getting into TV show territory again. Like yeah, all these characters that are not actually important, but they're important <laughs> because we like those characters, so we gotta see what happens to them. They could become important. Yeah, they ha uh, and sure. But do and they, that's do also they have, an issue. <laughs> do, do they have to be important? You. That's why the first season was so good. Because yeah, yeah, you had small moments with the characters. You gotta have that. But like at the center of it all, it was it was it was it was Alicent, Rhaenyra, Viserys, uh Damon, I suppose. And yeah, but he was also like Otto. slightly below that. Yeah. Yeah. So really it was Viserys, Otto, Alicent, and Rhaenyra. Which made yeah. sense. It was daughter and father. Yes. That was it. And that's why I liked it so much. There was a focus. A focus we yeah. very rarely see in TV shows. It reminded me of like Breaking Bad, where they they, they introduced a bunch of characters, but they were either completely like uh, uh, peripheral, or they were just introduced to be killed off. There was never like, yeah. oh, we gotta... And, and, when they're not, and when they were not important for the main story anymore, they kind of disappeared. Like they, yeah. there was never like a three three episode like side the uh, side uh, spin off <laughs> yeah where we get to see what what Badger and Skinny P was doing like this doesn't oh, matter it's I a, need to look that up it's a it's all about Heisenberg and 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 I and I guess I mean in a way even even Jesse disappears sometimes from that show early on in that show I mean they they try to like flesh out. Uh, uh, Marie, uh, 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 the 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 sister of the of Skyler, Skyler's sister. Uh, have you seen Breaking Bad? I, not all of it. Oh, okay. I've seen a bunch, but not enough. Yeah, I don't remember if she had a sister. No, she has a sister. In that she had a sister. Who who, uh, who turns out she's a kleptomaniac. In like and in like, uh, in one episode she she steals something, and then her and and Skyler are like because. She she steals a baby tiara for Skylar's baby shower, oh. and when and when uh, when Skylar right. Skylar w- goes to to uh, give it back because like they need the money <laughs> more than they need the, yeah. the, the a beautiful baby tiara, um, she gets flagged as a shoplifter because her sister Anna I think I don't remember um, she she um, she shoplifted it. And then they're kind of like not speaking to each other for a while. But that that has nothing to do with the main story. And I was just like, wh- where is this leading? Because eventually, 
that, that just that, that 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 gets blown over like oh i guess we're friends again i mean we are sisters and there's more important things happening my my husband is you know yeah uh, dying from cancer dying. your your husband is uh having ptsd from being you know attacked by the cartel and stuff like that so so, All right. so like what was the point of that there was none filler yeah exactly and I'm worried that all these other characters, like the blacksmith and his sick daughter, and, and oh right, yeah, like what was that? Like, I understand they introduced him in the, l- the last episode when he talked to the king about needing more money to finish the work on their uh, ballistas or whatever they call it, the big uh, oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's defense him. things. Like yeah. sure, so but I thought that was it. But I think they want to like focus a little bit on the little people as well. Because there was almost none of that in the first show in Game of Thrones. It was all just the yeah. kings and queens and warriors and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's 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 very virtuous of you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's virtue signaling as well. Yeah. Um, but do we really need that? How about you just... Sh- no, you know what they could do? They could save that for the other fucking spin-offs they're doing. Oh, they're doing more? I didn't know that. Yeah, because we have uh, a bunch... Most of them are either in production or, like, not sure. But we have one that's filming. A Knight of Seven Kingdoms. A second spin-off to the original Green... To the uh, to the official... Whatever. Show. Uh, and it's, a, it's a prequel. Oh, another prequel. But it's based on Martin's novellas that are collectively known as the Tales of the Dunk... Of Dunk and Egg. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know about those. Yeah. Um, it, it was stalled a little bit due to the Hollywood writer's strike, but it's it's um, filming and it's planned to premiere in 2025. So they're trying to build their own cinematic universe because that's yes, that's, that's that's what we do now. We, we have in development Aegon's Conquest, <sighs> okay. uh, in development the Sea Snake slash Nine Voyages. So that's why they're in, that's why they keep talking about the sea snake here. They're setting Most it up likely. for another show. God damn it! Uh, in development, ten thousand ships. Yeah, which takes place uh, a thousand years before the events of Game of Thrones would follow prin- Princess Nymeria, which is one of the legends that I think Arya talks about in Game of Thrones. Okay, because she names her wolf dog. Numeria. Right. Yeah. Remember, remember, remember like 10, 20 years ago when every, everything was always, we have to make more sequels. And that was yeah. like annoying enough because eventually you got bad sequels. And that's why I don't like sequels. And now we've yeah. gone from just making more sequels to creating entire universes of different shows, not just sequels. There's prequels, spin offs, spiritual sequels. Prequels to the prequels. Yeah, prequels to the prequels. <laughs> And everything has to be world building, world building. I, I, I've, I mean, world building has been around longer than I've been around, but yeah. it has become like uh, part of like everyday vernacular since uh, I, I don't know. Like, I, I guess with Game of Thrones, like yeah. regular people, not not people who read fantasy novels, but regular people, or like gamers, yeah, because gamers have always had world yeah. building. Yeah, they thing. start. Everyone started started talking about world building, and lore, lore is another. It's just another word for world building. But um, people have, in the last few years started talking about <clears throat> everything is lore. We need lore, lore. Yeah, it. I I, I understand I, it to a certain point because sometimes when the concept God. is intriguing enough, like I I I thoroughly enjoyed. Game of Thrones throughout all seven seasons or whatever the yeah, fuck I, it was. Oh, yeah, sure. I didn't dislike it at one point. I, but I also have a like, I love this kind of medieval dragon setting. Yeah, I can love it. But why does it all have to be Game of Thrones? That I don't know. That's the thing. It's it's so. That's the name brand recognition. Yeah, shit I know. That I hate. That, but that's what I mean. It's the same. It's the same problem with sequels. You're just doing the same yes. thing over again, but on an even bigger scale now. Just stop it. If you want, yeah. if you want to make a show, I think it's because they're scared that if they just make another show that's sim- too similar, they're just gonna get like, oh, you're just making, a, oh, you're just ripping off of Game of Thrones. And then if they choose to use Game of Thrones as a basis, they can continue with that style as well without having to change much. Yeah, they don't have to think up their own things. It's just it's a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, it's easy money. I know. 
But it's unfortunately the money makes the world go around. I know, <laughs> but we keep coming back to this. Whenever we talk about sequels and spin-offs and world building and all that, it dilutes the original. Unless it's as good as the original product, it dilutes the original product. Like to be fair, then so far Game of Thrones is lesser than House of the Dragon. So sure, sure. This wor- world building has not diluted how, how, it. It's, how long will that last? That's how true. many prequel and sequel and spin-off series can you do? Just how many se- seasons of House of the Dragon? Exactly. Are we going to get another eight seasons of <laughs> House of the Dragons? No, they can't. Because one, once again, I know you, many many people liked all seven seasons of Game of Thrones, but a lot of people and the critical consensus was that the show fell off in the last like two That's seasons true. or something. Um, and a lot of people hated the ending for some reason. Yeah. Uh, that's be- well. That's that's almost every show because that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the lizard brain. That's the uh. That's the uh. What's it called? Dopamine being released. Like what? My thing that I watch all the time and and you know I never have to worry about like th- it's gonna end. Not having- oh, that's bad. <laughs> now it's bad. Even though it's a really good ending. Oh, it's bad. It's over now. It's bad. Was it a discussion also like? But who actually died in the end? I don't. They I, didn't like that part. I honestly don't know how it ends because which I, don't I didn't care. get because it was kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know because I didn't watch it and I don't really care. I kind of want to make D- you watch. D- it. Doesn't d- doesn't Jon Snow I don't have kill enough... uh, what's her name, Lady Targaryen? Daenerys. Daenerys. Yeah. I remember. I don't remember if he kills her, but she definitely dies yeah, and he survives. Yeah, yeah. And that was the issue people had yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Even though a lot of people didn't want her to be queen. So I don't I don't know. No. no, but this is the same problem. This is this is this is Otto Hightower versus uh Aegon versus uh, Aegon Targaryen. Like people yeah. are people just oh they want instant gratification. They want more and more and more of the thing. But then they get disappointed when the thing isn't good anymore. Well that's why we should make less. Don't be greedy. Yeah. Don't think about the long game. If it's just if it's just eight episodes, three seasons, we can we can contain it. You know, we don't have to like we don't have to stretch it out. Start like doing dumber and dumber reasons to keep it going. Like you have an end, weirder side plots yeah, and, 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 and random characters, and you won't grow so attached so that you're disappointed when it ends, unless it is an actually bad ending, of course. Because that that's that, I mean, we've talked about that as well. Like the 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 ending of a trilogy is never great no uh because people grow too attached to the characters the ending yes. of a show is never great because you grow attached too attached to the characters like but if we don't grow too attached if we just appreciate what we have and it ends in a great way you will say oh what an ending yeah and then you can watch something else <laughs> yes and that's Thinking that doing the long game as Otto wants to do, to maintain you know the the stability, but no, yeah. we, we gotta we gotta keep milking everything until it crashes and burns. And that's what I'm worried. About. I know I'm overly worrying. We're two episodes in; they're both good episodes. But <laughs> I see the pattern. Yeah, and unfortunately, I think Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon are filling a void in the TV show genres that that has been too big for too long. We haven't had this kind of fantasy. For so long, we didn't really have that then kind when... of fantasy before Game of Thrones either. No, but I mean, like, we had a little bit, but not this in this scale. Yeah, and it was like in the nineties. Yeah. So people were maybe a little bit excited about having this kind of fantasy reemerging or emerging in general. Oh. So now they're just like, oh, we need to keep that. We need to f- keep filling that, and they're doing I don't it as think quickly it's as that... possible. But I don't think it's that though. Because no? I know a lot of people initially weren't like, I'm not going to watch that. It's a fantasy show. That, you know, Dragons and Knights, that's for kids. Like, that's why our yeah, parents once never it, watched it. Once it caught on. Yeah, I know. But then it was it was not people who were like, oh, I've been waiting for a good fantasy show. Like, no. That wasn't the thing. No, maybe that not. That was for already established fantasy fans. Nerds. Well, there are a bunch of them, so. I know. Because that became cool, too. <laughs> but uh, honestly because uh, just was it like a couple of weeks ago uh my boyfriend's dad 
admitted that he started watching Game of Thrones and he finished like four seasons in like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just kept watching them. I was like, this is so fascinating. I was like, yeah, I know. And there's there's a spinoff or there's a prequel. <laughs> you should watch that. Season two just came out. Yeah, or just started. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it. Yeah. And then yeah, but and then and he's not a fan of no, no, and then no, and that's what I mean. Like f- for all the grief I give it, it was still a well made show, so I can see yeah. why people got hooked. Even people who initially were like, eh, I'm not gonna watch a stupid kids show, but no, Knights and Dragons because it's well written, you know. Yes. Um. But so so people weren't clamoring for a fantasy show; they were clamoring for a good show. I guess. No. <sighs> I'm still excited for the next next episode. Yeah, me too. I, I want to see where Damon rides off to. I just, I just, I just, I just worry about the future. Like it's it's gonna it's gonna happen. You shouldn't worry too much. About but it. I, I know I it's guess. gonna. That's and that's why I don't. That's why I don't watch TV shows. Because eventually, because eventually you get sucked into it, and then you're just gonna be like, oh, oh, oh this character, oh, oh, this character, and they have you in their grasp. We'll talk more about this not too far in the future when we do our um, summer special. Yeah, summer special. Now you have another one where they just they're they have I well I think they milked it to death a long time ago, but they're milking <laughs> it to death. Yeah, but I think I'm I'm I have a question I'm gonna ask you for that episode. So, uh, but I'm saving it for that. Okay, sure. We're talking about our summer. I think I've asked you that before, but yeah, summer f- special episode, which this year is going to be about Star Wars, like yes. Star Wars, the whole thing. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. The, f- the franchise. <sighs> yeah, the universe, of Star Wars. Yes, but I guess yeah, we'll end. But that's it for now. We'll end this episode here. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we, yeah, perfect length, forty-five minutes, forty-seven minutes. So yeah, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit uh, subscribe and, and 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 like on YouTube. Leave a comment. What did you think of the episode? Was it better exactly or worse than the last one? But say. <laughs> and if you're on other platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever, you know, hit the hit the like, hit the hit the the heart, the five star, whatever. It helps us in the algorithm, which doesn't seem to 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 like us very much, except for some. Sometimes it just spikes, like with my uh, other podcast, our pig episode just exploded. Not exploded, but if, if it's just the right my numbers, the right, you know. M- what's it called? The right movie, the right show, right place, at the right time. Yeah, yeah. A three-year-old movie that nobody remembers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll be back. Anyway, yeah, we'll be back next week uh, to talk about yes. season episode three. And uh, yeah, ha- till then. Yeah, till then. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.